So we're here on Limbongan and Noosa Cheningan as well to review our education projects on the islands. Firstly, we started with English. The English curriculum is developed because when I first came to the island uh, for BCF in 2016, we saw that the island had developed tremendously when I knew it well in the 90s. So a lot of tourism opportunity, but there was a real shortage of skills amongst the local youth to be employed. And this meant that people from other islands were coming in to take the jobs because no one here had the skills. And that is still a factor to this day. However, in 2016, we developed an eight year program where we would work to build English skills amongst the children so that by the time they graduated year 12, which at this stage would be in 2024, we'd have a cohort starting to come through with English skills. So that's what we've been working on, English as a foreign language. My mother, my mother is cleaning room. A special emphasis on listening and speaking. He is uh, swimming in the pool. Oh, very good. He is swimming in the pool. English to prepare the youth so they can grasp the jobs and hold the management of their island for themselves and not people coming from outside. Charles Stone to prepare the generation to be able to read, write and using a capacity with reading that is comfortable and enjoyable so they can gain information from books but also from the internet, from Google etc. It doesn't matter where you get your education, you need to be comfortable with reading to capture the information. But the children on Limbongan are actually pretty smart. They're really smart. So we're seeing more progress here than perhaps some of the other communities. What, however much progress comes, it is all progress and it's really important for the children. So we're pretty pleased to see good progress here. <laughs> Thank you.